What's up YouTube? It's me, Rishi Kreps. Back after a long time away from YouTube because I'm lazy. Uh, today I'm going to be drawing this guy, Hard Hat Horror. Here he is in his human form. And then he turns into this demon uh, for Inktober. And I've spoken before about Inktober and these kind of drawing challenges and why they're so important if you are an artist who's trying to make a name for yourself out there in the world because it's a hashtag that's going to have a lot of people looking at it going to be getting a lot of attention get on it get those eyes on you because if you don't somebody else will this was a toy I had as a kid I was obsessed with the real Ghostbusters I still have it but um, it's looking a little bit worse for wear so essentially they had this whole line of figures where the people were possessed and they would turn into monsters and ghosts for the Ghostbusters to fight as you can see they would never be able to do this now. Toys like this are long gone. Everything's too safe. So, as you can see, I've done the basic pencil outline there. Just get an idea of where everything's going to go, what it's going to look like. And now I'll go in with the ink. I get asked a lot about what software I use to get this inky look. Uh, this is Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. I believe it's free now. By all means, check it out. It is great. I've been through a lot of bits of kit like Photoshop, um, Clip Studio Paint, Paint Tool Sci. None of them have really given me the feel of actual pen and ink, which Autodesk does really well, so I can't fault it. I've probably said that in a ton of videos, but people keep asking, so I'm going to keep saying it. So, yeah, I really wanted to make it look like the, uh, the face was part of the shirt, because the actual toy, the head, like, pokes in and rolls around the back and you just don't see it but to make it look kind of real I, uh, I, I decided the demon was going to be coming out of the folds of his shirt rather than you know actually out of his chest rolling back this pose is very reminiscent of like comic book stuff like the Hulk or, or any action hero which kind of leads to the action pose that he's in because I wanted him to look like he's flying, swooping down from construction site, about to take your head off. Just going in, doing the folds on the fabric, getting those arms in, getting in the, the veins, which seem to be the, the a staple of uh, 80s action figures. Like all the, the Ghostbusters monsters and all the Ninja Turtles stuff always had like really veiny arms. Veins don't work like that, but sure. I've drawn better hands than this, but I can cover it up with a bit of shadow and no one will ever notice. Now this hand, as you can see, I, I put a bit of a darker uh, outline around it because I want it to appear closer, so it draws the eye slightly more. This is a basic comic book foreshadowing trick that you'll see if you look for it in especially older comics from the uh, 60s and 70s, which are some of my favourites. Going with the pants, get some creases on there. Texture is important because texture is the difference between having a blank space that draws the eye because it's negative, negative space. You can look into that if you really want to, and uh, and having it actually feel like an actual part of a character. So you see, I do these little marks. This figure had teeth in his shoes. I don't know why. It's kind of cool. Uh, though I, I went in and did kind of like a deadly spawn style. Lots of teeth. And lots of slobber. If you've seen the deadly spawn, you know what I mean. If you haven't, it may not be for you. <laughs> I didn't really want to do basic back wings, so I kind of wanted the wings to look like a black smoke like design. So I didn't like this. And I think it came out pretty cool. Plus the black uh, adds a nice bit of a background to the white. A nice bit of contrast, I believe. The standard speed lines here that I do on everything in the Inktober line, just to give it a bit more of a uniform look, because you're drawing a picture every day, so you kind of want them to link together in some way. A bit of a clean up. I think I got this toy when I was about four, four or five. I don't even think I got it on my birthday, I think it was my brother's birthday. And they didn't want me to feel jealous, so they got me toys. Which I'm sure didn't cause any problems further on down the line at all. 
I still expect presents on his birthday. Kidding. So I crop it, put my name in it, and there you go. It's done. And need to be uploaded to Instagram and for me to beg for likes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be uploading another one soon. And thank you again to my Patreon, Connor. Find me online. I'll see you next time. Bye.